Venezuela uh, and the refugees that we get gotten to know here in Miami have taught us that communism does not work. It's an inferior form of government to the U.S. And um, uh, a couple of quick examples, uh, they nationalized their petroleum industry. It was a public-private partnership uh, and destroyed it. Um, Chavez fired uh, the majority of the workers, killing the goose that lays the golden eggs. They have a petroleum-based economy. That's a mistake you would not make. If you were leader of Venezuela, you would not destroy the goose that lays the golden eggs. The petroleum industry, Chavez, did that. Uh, moving toward collectivization uh, imposed by Chavez and Maduro, that's a communist thing. If you look up Holodomor in Wikipedia, you see that uh, this is collectivization gone wild. The, the government confiscates the farms under the theory that they have better motives than the farm owners, uh, but the farms then don't work and don't produce food and people starve. So in Wikipedia it says, Ukraine accuses the Soviet Union in 1932 of starving six million people to death, a form of genocide, perhaps, a holodomor. Uh, it's happening in Venezuela. Uh, communism does not work. Do you know that Russia, since leaving communism, has turned from a net importer of wheat to a net exporter of wheat? Uh, giving free enterprise, giving people a motive to work hard uh, does work, it's superior. Thank you for listening. We don't need Putin in our lives.